Uh, you say that your database has a field called quick button, um, but then the rest of your statement is that it, and and a numeric value that tells you which button that should be assigned to. So I'm not sure if you have two fields or or really I don't I don't know what your database structure is. So um, that needs to be made a little bit more clear. But anyway, I've I've got this field called quick button and it's got a new label in it. Um, now because each one of your buttons on your UX has a unique ID to it, then you should be able to get at that uh, get at that button. Uh, let's see how this will work. Uh, if I just go into live preview, what we could do, we'll just show you how this works anyway. So, um, so here, this button needs a new label, and this button relabels this label. This is the value. Uh, this is my quick button value. Um, it's the new label that's there. So I'm just going to relabel that, and I can go next and relabel, and next and relabel. That sort of thing. And if you want to do it automatically, then you can go to client side event after populate from table and uh, I had this commented out but let's put this back in so this is what this is doing is um, grabbing the value from the uh, quick button field which contains our new label and just setting the value the inner HTML value of the button with the new label and I'll show you that in a sec so if we, we go and run this in Chrome for example There it is, and I go and I inspect this element. What we see here is that this is our ID. And you'll see it's my new button label down here. There's our ID there. So we're just taking the value from here, shoving it into the inner HTML of this ID. And this will happen automatically now. as I move through the records. Nothing there. So you'd have to test for that as well. And we'll pop back into here. And again, the relabel button has exactly the same code on it. Now, if you're going after a specific button that you've numbered, well, you can see that this, this button has a specific ID. It is button number one. Um, this one, that's button number one, that's its ID. So alpha gets part of the full ID from here. So you could work it out. I'm not sure if that's how your, uh, your data is coming through, but the point is that when you go and retrieve a record, um, that quick button information will be part of the button uh, record retrieval. You don't have to show it in your UX, but as long as it's available in your UX, then you can grab that uh, that value and shove it into your button label. I hope that's what you're looking for. Thanks for watching.